Partial funding for the production of New Mexico in Focus provided by the McCune Charitable Foundation. This week on New Mexico in Focus, New Mexico braces for more impacts from the federal government shutdown. It's hard to overstate the impact of a government shutdown in New Mexico. Right. Over a third of our state GDP comes from federal spending. Plus, we look at a new program to study and minimize the impact of brain injury in athletes. New Mexico in Focus starts now. This week, we talked to local experts about a national crisis, concussions and brain injuries among football players. The frontline documentary League of Denial highlighted the perils facing athletes in a new program introduced this week by the University of New Mexico and the Mind Research Network called BrainSafe. We'll gather MRI data on athletes' brains at the start of their collegiate careers and assess the impacts of sports injuries on their brains. The Line Opinion Panel analyzes the results of Albuquerque's mayoral election and city council races. Republican incumbent Richard J. Burry held on to the mayor's office by a huge margin, 68% of the vote. However, he could face a city council with a Democratic majority, depending on the outcome of one race, where a runoff seems likely. The group also looks at the first week of enrollment at the state's new health insurance exchange, Launched as a result of the Affordable Care Act, many businesses accessed the state portals, but individuals seeking coverage had more difficulty since they had to go through a federal website. But we begin tonight by exploring the growing impacts of the federal government shutdown on New Mexico. Some fear the budget impasse could push the state's fragile economy into another recession. Here's the line. 